guys, and welcome back to day three, day four of 24 days of DIY candy kits. Today we're going to make another kit that is new to me. It is called Guru Guru Potato, just Guru Guru Spiral Potato. And it's like hot, like a real potato. So is this like a long french fry or something that we're making? Now I love my french fries crisp, so we'll see how this one measures up. As far as the instructions go, they look pretty simple. So let's give it a go. Da -da -da -da. Potato powder, potatoes. How many Lord of the Ring fans out there? I think I'm in a marathon all of the Lord of the Ring movies this month. Let me know if any of you guys are interested in following along. Ketchup and consomme, which is usually a soup stock of some sorts, usually, you know, like a meat flavor, beef or chicken usually. Anyway, that's for flavoring. And here we have this spiral tray. This would make a cool gummy too. And the spoon. I am going to start by cutting the tray apart. The thought of powdered ketchup kind of scares me. First, I'm going to put some water in the clover cup up to the line. There we go. Now it is potato potato time. Is this all going to fit? Mmm, it does kind of smell potato-y. Also a little weird. Now I have to try to mix this in in this tiny little cup. Hmm, it's a lot more liquidy than I thought it would be. I thought it'd be more kind of like a mashed potato consistency. Now it is time to fill the spiral tray and the instructions say to do it very carefully. We all know that careful is not a word in my vocabulary, so we'll see how this goes. Slow down. Now it kind of smells like dog food to me, which is not good. There we go, not too bad. I think it could have been worse. Now I'm gonna go microwave this for one minute in my 600 watt microwave. Let's see if I can make the sauce in one minute. First, I'm gonna pour some water into the star tray up to the line. Ah, too much. Let's take a sip. And the ketchup does smell like ketchup. I mean, it's probably just like dehydrated tomato powder, right? With a lot of sugar. Oh, there's a microwave, but it has to cool anyway. So I'm gonna continue on. We're gonna mix this in. Mmm, it smells very tomatoey. Okay, that's kind of like ketchup. A little watery ketchup. And then we have the consomme powder, which we, ah, don't do anything to. Don't spill on me ketchup. Just pour the powder in and apparently just dip the potato in this. I am going to remove the spoon because that's scaring me. Should I taste the ketchup? I should taste the ketchup. I'm scared of the ketchup. It's a sweet ketchup. Kind of like a pizza sauce, like a marinara sauce, but with sugar <laughs> added to it. Okay, microwave, I'm coming for you. I don't know, guys, what do you think? That looks like a very bready potato. It looks like a Swiss roll cake. Um, I guess, let's see if we can get it out in one piece. Probably want to wait until it cools, but I am impatient, so that's not going to happen. Ta-da! Looks like a little snake. Again, very, very bready, so I'm gonna give it a taste and we will see. I'm gonna tear a little bit off. First, I'm gonna try it plain. The texture is very bready. The flavor, I would say, is kind of like an undercooked french fry. <laughs> I'm gonna dip it in the ketchup. Maybe that'll taste better. Hmm, not too bad. The potato itself has a lot of flavor, actually. So it's actually a pretty fun snack. It's a very simple kit. Let's try the consomme powder. It tastes like the beef stock soup that my mom would make me when I was sick. I think I like the ketchup better on this. Not that we're counting, but this only has 53 calories, 53 kilocalories in here, and that's not a bad snack. It's starting to get hard on the bottom, though. You have to eat it quickly. Overall, that's a pretty fun kit. A little bit simple, but that's okay. You know what would be cool is if they made a churro kit kind of like this with cinnamon sugar or like a chocolate dip. That would be delicious. Anyway, I'm going to finish the video here and I'm gonna go eat my potato snack. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!